Hello and welcome to LAT's Weekly Market Insights. This week, rather than focusing on the markets, we're going to focus on what our current students have been looking at in the first two weeks of their course. As they come to the end of week two, they've learned a raft of primary technical analysis, and we're going to have a look today at the kind of setups that you could be creating with us here at the London Academy of Trading. To do that, we're going to come across to this theoretical setup here, and we're going to follow through everything that our students have learned over the first couple of weeks. And like all good setups, we must have strong levels of support and resistance, and that's where we're going to start with this setup. We'll start off, we're going to place the all-time high of this chart, and then we're going to make our way down, applying our levels, looking for those three touches and looking for the most recent interaction to have been a well-respected bounce. We can see the first touch, second touch, third touch through here on this uh, resistance level, currently resistance as it is above the current price, the end of this price action here representing that current price. We can also then see a support level down beneath this, multiple touches through here, and most recently a strong respect for that level. Continuing our way down through here, as we make our way down towards the lows, we can also see a nice strong support level down through these lows. Again, this level being termed as support, as it is currently lower and below the current price. Making our way in from there, having ticked off support and resistance, our students will then be looking at trend and two different types of trend here. We have the major trend, which shows us the dominant direction of the market, and that is a succession of higher highs and higher lows. And that's what we can see here as this uptrend is being formed. Within this major trend though, we do also have smaller counter trend moves. And they can be seen in a succession of lower highs and lower lows. We know we're looking for lower highs and lower lows here in this instance, as this will be coming back against the major trend, which is currently in uptrend. So this smaller counter trend, this downtrend here, showing the corrective move, the retracement in what is otherwise a major bullish trend. Now, whilst the trend itself is absolutely critical, we can, of course, confirm that trend and gain additional confirmation of that trend by looking at trend lines. We start from our absolute lows in an uptrend, looking to form and join together the higher lows as our support. We can see again, much of our support resistance, we are looking for three touches to confirm and validate that trend line. Again, as we said, uptrend in play here, so our trend line looking to be beneath the price, acting as support. We can also gain confirmation on the momentum of a market, the strength of that trend by looking for potential channels. So we take a direct copy, a parallel move of that trend line, project it to the highs, and the confirmation we take from this channel line is that this market is still carrying a lot of momentum. The most recent highs bouncing off that channel line. A failure to get to the top of that channel would imply and would suggest a loss of momentum. And as we come down towards the counter trend here, and we're drawing a counter trend line, we can see that loss of momentum unfolding when we try to take a channel from this counter trend. So again, we're looking at the first touch, second touch, third touch to confirm. I'm going to copy that trend line across to create my channel line. And now if I just remove this lower circle as we clear it up, we can see this low whilst failing at the trend line has not managed to reach down to the lows of this channel. That implies to us that this selling pressure is losing momentum and therefore increases the chances of a bullish turnaround and a positive move and continuation of that major trend. So, so far we've got support resistance, we've identified major trend, and we would like to go with that major trend. So off the back of this, we are going to be looking for long setups, okay? We are in an uptrend. We've looked at trend lines, we've looked at channels, we've looked at the momentum indications that the major channel and the counter trend channel have shown us. That shift in momentum, that loss of selling pressure. And then last but not least, to wrap up the second end of the tail end of week two, we have candlestick patterns. And I've just highlighted here what we would like to see as we make our way down towards this trend line. And here we can see a piercing pattern. We have a gap lower. We're coming from a downtrend, a bearish candle. We gap lower and then we see a bullish sentiment, a shift in sentiment as buyers take control. And this candle managed, manages to close more than 50% of the way back through the resistance level of the previous candle. 
this piercing pattern acting pattern acting as a bullish reversal signal and can act as great confirmation to confirm this chart will continue higher now everything we've done here primary analysis the foundations of technical analysis but nonetheless once we can master these techniques our support resistance our trend identification our counter trends our trend lines and our candlesticks we can and will be profitable within the markets the last thing to do here is to try and look at our entry our stops and our targets how are we going to get into this position and when we're looking for a long as we can see here we are looking to have an entry level that is above resistance <clears throat> we want to see that entry level on a breakthrough resistance okay so here for instance we will see a breakout of the counter trend line we'll also see a break through the resistance level entry just above stop loss next to be placed we want to see our stop loss down below a valid support level now if i place it below this support i will also be below the trend line a break of both trend line the low and the support level would be a clear indication for us to no longer want to be long within this market targets multiple in play here one conservative target still gives a risk to water ratio of 1.3 to 1 which is more than acceptable takes us back towards the previous high a reasonable target uh, to ad adhere to however we are in a trend here that's making higher highs and higher lows our major trend is bullish and therefore expectation would be for this market to break through that high and continue and therefore further upside targets towards next resistance or alternatively up towards the top of this channel again no reason not to target towards the top of this channel as previously we did reach the top of that channel as this market progresses forward if we get triggered into this we'll be looking for the retest of potential resistance that's broken moves through and also looking for indications of a the trend potentially losing momentum should we see this market fail to get to the top of that channel and then make its way back down towards this trend line should we still be in this position we'd be looking to try and take some measures take some profit off the table as we start to see that indication but perhaps this trend is running out of momentum as it fails to get to the top of this channel those early warning signs and potential profits already in the bank would still lead to a profitable trade here so there we go we've had a very quick look through there what our students our current students come to the end of week two have studied in their first two weeks these primary tools, these primary techniques are absolutely essential in financial markets and trading. Becoming a master of these is very, very difficult, but puts you a big step forward in being profitable as a trader. For all of our current students, wishing you the best of luck as you progress through now into week three and you start to move into the world of secondary indicators. For anyone not on the course, hopefully it's given a good insight as to what we're looking to achieve here at London Academy of Trading. Um, please do join us same time next week for another Weekly Market Insights.